Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Virgo today. For their second half of April reading. I know it's a little late, I'm sorry. The arthritis acting up and all the weird energy hanging out. It's a little hard to read the cards. Anywho, this reading will be for Virgo, Sun and Rising Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, which it is a general reading, it may not resonate with every Virgo. That's fine, too. You can... Totally disregard the reading and forget you ever saw it, or check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings as they come out, because sometimes those will resonate better than your Sun sign reading. Do what you want, it's your journey. I just read cards. Just keep in mind the time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and y'all are welcome here too. Come on and have a seat, we'll drink some coffee, play some cards, and have a good time. There. Why are you here, Virgo? Ten of Cups reverse. Wow. Yeah. Didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to, did it? Okay, well, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Strength, it could be a Leo. There's a lot of trust there. A definite opposites attract kind of thing. It represents unity and polarity. It's awesome. What do you think of them? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. You think they got something to offer? Kind of a slow mover. Might be small, but definitely has potential. Okay. What do you want from them? Eight of Swords in the upright. Oh. Okay. Gonna have to get a little bit of clarity on that. Somebody's all wrapped up. Somebody's trapped in a cage of their own thoughts. How do they feel about you? Hanged man. You're accepting. You're able to see things from the fence perspective, you're able to see things from all multiple angles. What do you think? Of, what do they think of you? Three of Swords. You've been through it. And they know it. Or they could think you're a little bit of a heartbreaker yourself. Take it however resonates. What do they want from you? Six of Pentacles. They want fairness. They want equality. They want it to be equal, give and take. What's the challenge...
Three of Pentacles reversed. There's no foundation at this point. It's not quite coming together. And it might not be quite coming together because things aren't to a state of being equal yet. Because there are a lot of polarities at this point. It may be moving a little bit too slowly. Someone may still be wrapped up in a cage of their own thoughts. What can be done? Double reversed. Okay. Okay. Somebody's got to disconnect from something very powerful here. Somebody might have an addiction issue they need to walk away from. And not necessarily just drugs or alcohol. You can be addicted to a lot of things. You can obsess a lot about a lot of things. Video games. Food. Sex. Lots of things. You can become from a biological, biochemical perspective. Anything that raises your happy serotonin levels and puts you in your happy place, it is extremely easy to become addicted to. If that makes sense to anybody. Sorry, that's your little science lesson for the day. I'm, I've been accused of being an encyclopedia of absolutely useless information my entire adult life. I watch a lot of TV. I read a lot of books. A lot of PBS. A lot of Discovery Channel. You know, a lot of History Channel. Anywho. Outcome. Four of Cups reversed. I don't like that outcome. That's someone ignoring what's trying to be what somebody's trying to hand them. I don't like that. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, we're gonna clarify with the steampunk. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get clarity on the table? Clarity on the cards on the table for Virgo, please. If I can make words work and put together a coherent thought between my brain and my mouth today. I've clearly not had enough coffee. Knight of Swords. Ooh. There's a very good chance that it's not working out the way you want it to, and it's not heading down the road toward a happy and emotionally fulfilling ending of the fairy tale because you saw something or heard something or read something that you weren't supposed to. The Knight of Swords is my little secret teller. My little Sherlock Holmes. The spy. The investigator. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. If this is resonating with you, you know what happened and you know what I'm talking about. And I'm leaving it at that. Why is the strength card here? <laughs> Hi. King of Cups. 
you feel very deep emotion toward this person. But you understand that there's polarities in the relationship. Empress. She popped. Oh. The Empress and the Six of Pentacles. Oh. Huh. Okay. You feel like this has potential for growth. You feel like this has the potential to be something equal. You feel like this could go somewhere. I think you want it to go somewhere. You have deep emotion for this person. But again, there is polarities. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Double reversed popped out again. You feel like they have something to offer you. You feel like this is, or sorry, you think they have something to offer. You think this is slow moving. But at the same time, you know they're disconnecting from something powerful. They're, they have, they got an internal war going on right now. Lovers reversed. And it's impeding the connection. They might not be acknowledging the connection. It's there. They're not acknowledging it. Or you're not. Take it over, resonates. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Queen of Cups. One more. You want them to be the king to your queen, the queen to your king, the sex of the card don't matter. You want it to be fair and equal. They're wrapped up in a cage of their own thoughts. Somebody is. The world. They're wrapped up in something. You want it to end. You want it to be fair and equal. You want them to feel the same way that you do. But you know they got to complete something somewhere else because they're still all wrapped up. They're still obsessed. And I think you found out. Don't forget all things can be vice versa. Where's the hangman here? Thank you. Strengthen the Ten of Cups reversed. Strength and the Ten of Cups reversed. You're freaking mirroring each other. This is cool, Virgo. It's actually pretty cool. They know that you are two very different people. They can feel it. Just like you can. And it's going to be a struggle. But I think they feel this overwhelming sense that you're thinking it's not going to work. Because they know they are still very connected to something else. And they left something hanging out there somewhere. There's a cord that hasn't been cut yet. 
what is it with everybody this month? What is it? Everybody's, everybody's got a string out there somewhere. Why is the Three of Swords here? Don't get me wrong, it's okay to have emotional strengths. As long as they're not being pulled still. Ace of Swords. They think this is breaking your heart and you aren't talking about it. Ace of Swords reversed. You're not saying what's on your mind. Let me throw another one on that. Can I throw another one on that, please? Let me throw another one on that, please. Sun card reversed. You're not happy. The sun is not shining. You're heartbroken. All right. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? mirroring each other. A page of a book has two sides. There's writing on both sides usually. You're on the same page, but you're not on the same page. You understand what I'm saying? They want things to be fair and equal. But they want you to understand they're still tied up in something else. Something still has them bound. Wow, Virgo. Wow. Priestess connection. There's secrets. There's a connection. This one also talks about light against dark. It talks about. It talks a lot about what happened up in the 5D before y'all came down. It talks about the dreamland. They want things to be fair and equal. They want the connection. They want the same thing you do. But they're still getting through some shit. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? Oh my gosh. The challenge here is change. The challenge here is death. The challenge here is death, birth, and resurrection on top of an unstable foundation or a non-existent foundation, things have to change here. A chubby little caterpillar needs to go into a cocoon and come out a butterfly. Or a moth, you know, whatever. One helps to pollinate the world's plants, and the other one eats your sweaters. Take it however resonates. Something's got to give here. Someone has to let a connection die for another one to be born.
Someone in this scenario is still very much a caterpillar. One more on that, please. Two of Pentacles. So a decision's got to be made. Someone's still juggling. A lot of infinity symbols here. Infinity symbol, infinity symbol, infinity symbol. It's the connection. It's the foundation. Was the devil reversed here? Not that I don't already know. Why is the devil reversed here? Hermit reversed. There's introspection. And there's putting your head in the sand. Not the same thing. Someone needs to disconnect from something very powerful. Something, someone needs to begin a healing process. Somebody needs to actually step out of the cabin in the woods and take a walk. Somebody's still trapped in the cabin. Mm. Probably both of you. Could well be. Mm. Two of Cups. It was like half cockeyed. So it needs to be done. I really like this one because this is infinity symbols on top of infinity symbols going up into a yin yang out of these cups. This is freaking magical. This is a magical connection between you two. This is powerful. This is like soulmate stuff, guys. You came into each other's lives for a purpose. For a reason. Like, a cosmic reason. It could totally go somewhere. The potential's totally there. But somebody's still tied and bound to something else. Kids are their own thoughts. You could just be tied in your own head. And step out of that cabin anytime you want. And stepping out of that cabin and taking that walk means the chubby little caterpillar has to go into the cocoon and become the butterfly. The key here is change. And the change begins with you. To whoever I'm talking to, whether it's Virgo or the cross watcher. All things being vice versa. Something's gonna give here, guys. This has the potential to be wonderful, but something's gotta give. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? Queen of Wands reversed, no forward movement, regrets. The potential outcome here is regrets and ignoring feelings, ignoring what's trying to be handed to you, no forward movement. Nine of Pentacles of reversed. Walking into another codependent relationship. Eventually. Inevitably. Is that what you want? I mean, it's your journey. I'm not going to say that I don't care. I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't care. Ten of Swords. The Moon. Allowing a painful cycle to end. Taking the walk. 
Yes, it is a smoke-filled trail. But I think the smoke and mirrors is in your own head. I think you both understand that. Somebody has something they need to disconnect from. Knight of Wands reversed and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Going back to you have to walk away from something and decide that you're done playing games and you're done with people who are playing games you're done with the smoke and mirrors you gotta take the walk and let a cycle come to an end before something new and wonderful can begin you can have your happy ending but you have to want your happy ending all right Virgo let me know if it resonates this is beautiful So close to being so beautiful. But it's in your hands. I just read the cards. I love you guys to bits. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, by the way. So I totally get you guys. I will catch you guys next week, very shortly into the week after, for your first part of May reading. Later today or early tomorrow, you will get the weekend top and bottom. And Sunday night, Monday morning. We will catch you for the work week top and bottom. And we might try to do something new next week. I don't know. I'm still kicking the ball around. I'm still trying to do time management with my son being in online school. So, anywho, I'm checking out. Catch you later.